Hey, I'm Brian Vance, BroadbikeTrackHere.com, and today we're going to do a review on the RST Paragon 5 Waterproof Textile Jacket. The Paragon 5 is the evolution of waterproof textile adventure slash touring jackets from RST. The retail price on this coat is $3.99. We have it on the website for a whole heck of a lot less than that right now. And I got to tell you, this is a great value on a great coat. If you're looking for that three-quarter length adventure touring style jacket, waterproof, insulated, tons of ventilation built into it that comes with a complete armor package. This includes CE armor in the elbow, forearm, shoulder, as well as a CE certified back pad, you really need to give this one a look. I am 5 feet 11 inches tall, 205 pounds, 33 inch waist. I have on a size 56 in this jacket. I had a 54 on, I'm wearing a 54 in their sport coats, but the design of this is different because they don't use stretch fabric on a waterproof textile jacket. The reason behind that is you're gonna lose your waterproofing when you do that. So for me in the arms, I had an issue with the 54. I just really didn't have the mobility I needed. So I went up to the 56, it still fit well in the body and it got me what I needed in the arms. So kind of temper your sizing with the information I just gave you. And of course, have a look at the size chart when you're choosing your size. This jacket has a tremendous amount of storage, ex exterior storage as well as interior. And in the second part of this video, we'll be able to break this down even better. You know, but it's your standard stuff exterior storage pocket here waterproof you're gonna find that on both sides of the coat ventilation on this jacket is not direct to skin this has a high-end waterproof breathable membrane that is behind the shell of the jacket and then inside of the inner mesh liner that goes against your skin so when you have all the vents open what's happening is it's going to capture the heat and moisture that escapes through the breathable inner membrane and then draw it out the back when you're riding. It is effective, but it's not as effective as direct to skin ventilation. So this isn't the kind of coat you want for, you know, super hot weather. Okay. Depending on your internal thermostat, this is going to be more for people, cooler, inclement weather, right? Into warm weather, it'll be effective. If you're riding in Arizona, this is probably not the right coat for you as it doesn't have that direct to skin, but many other places in the country, this thing is going to be stellar. Tons of value. You get the RST stuff in your hand, you see the quality materials and stitching, the feel once you have it on, you'll think you should have paid double what you ended up paying for it. If you look at the ventilation on this, you've got right here in the upper arm, large zip vent here, and that's two-way, so your arms are out, on the hands are on the bars, arms are spread out, air is driving in there, circulating around, intake vent here in the chest we have storage pocket it's a napoleon pocket we have one of those on either side that actually doubles as a vent you can see it uses a waterproof zip to enhance the function of that vent they have this little strap here when you snap it over it's just going to pull that open a little bit so when you're up in the wind it catches in here and circulates grabs the heat grabs the moisture gets it out the back of the coat. Motion panel in the shoulder, motion panel here in the elbow, volume adjuster here at mid waist using textile and Velcro. Considering it's a three quarter length jacket and you're usually on a, basically an upright bike with this, oftentimes longer length, you don't want to push the jacket up when you sit down so they have gussets that are built into the side. You zip these open and it just kind of allows it to just drape out a little bit so instead of pushing up it just opens up it's much more comfortable waterproof zips this thing comes with a removable neck gaiter you can see it in the product images we'll show it in the second part of this video we took it off for the purpose of this review the main zip you can see here that gutter system they use for waterproofing this is meant to be worn in some serious rain and still keep the rider dry and comfortable. Main zip is waterproof. Then you have the gutter system. 
without completely zipping the jacket open, you have a storage pocket here at the left breast that is going to be a nice waterproof pocket. As you go in even deeper to the coat, there are more storage pockets built inside of the jacket. Volume adjuster here in the bicep. They put all the volume adjustments in the coat because when you remove that insulated inner liner, you pick up a little space inside the jacket. And depending on how it fits you to start off with, it may be necessary to just kind of dial it on a little bit so you still have the same fit and feel that you did when the liner was in. That's why they've got it here, forearm, bicep, mid-waist, comfort line collar, comfort line cuff. It's got a little gaiter here in the cuff as well. I really dig it. If you're into touring, adventure riding, this is a great value. Watch the second half of this video. This thing's pretty technical. It's easier to really break it down when I have it off and have it on the table. Okay, let's go inside out. The RST Paragon 5 textile jacket. Fully removable liner. I believe this is 75 grams of insulation. Let's take a look at the quality here. Once again, it's like I've been saying with all the RST stuff, really exceeds expectations. Storage. Smartphone pocket over here on the left side. You can see it's expandable, a little gusset there, so it's gonna hold a rather large phone, Velcro closure. Storage pocket here. Right side, larger Velcro closure. We've got a pass through to get to the pocket that is behind this. This zips into the coat. So we have a full zip here around the body, and there are also zippers that attach the sleeve to the cuff of the jacket. So it's held in there very sturdy. Little Velcro attachment point here in the liner to help hold it to the base of the jacket so it's not migrating around when you're riding. The product pictures didn't show this, but this throat collar, right, or gaiter is fully removable. It's lined with some comfort fabric so when you do have it up and on when the conditions are really inclement, it's going to feel comfortable against your skin. You're able to remove this, store it anywhere in a pocket on the coat, not a problem, it's pretty lightweight armor the coat comes with. You've got a full coverage CE certified back protector. That's a great value add. Really love to see that in their stuff. So many coats just come with foam or nothing back there and a lot of riders don't realize that. They grab it if you have an accident. You fall on it, you've got nothing back there to protect you. Soft shell CE armor found in the elbow form as well as the shoulder. So full armor kit with this coat. Focusing on the shell of the jacket now. We have all good quality, high-end materials used here. In the impact zones, like the shoulder and the form, you're going to see some more heavier ballistic materials. There is a Sinaqua waterproof breathable membrane that is between the outer shell of the jacket and the mesh liner that goes against your skin. The ventilation that we see with the coat, as stated previously, is not direct to skin, but they built so much into it, what it does is the membrane allows breathability. So it transfers heat and moisture. Open the vents, it collects everything and sucks it right out the back when you're rotting. So while not as effective as direct to skin ventilation, that is what you typically see with sport touring, touring adventure coats like this one. All the screen printing you see here is reflective for nighttime visibility. Got a large storage pocket here that would be waterproof. The back of the coat, you could put a ton of shit in there, no problem. Volume adjustment at the waist. We have Velcro and textile. It passes all the way through to the front of the coat so you can really dial this in around your waist. You need a little more room or want it to canopy open a little bit when you're sitting on the bike due to the three quarter length of the coat. You can unzip. The gussets will open up and just allow it to kind of drape nicely, especially if it's raining out, it helps to get it to run away from you. Storage pocket, external here with a zipper and Velcro, expandable, waterproof. You'll find this on both sides of the jacket, large volume, exterior waterproof storage. Sleeve of the coat, more reflectives, some smart printing there, I like that. That's pretty, or I'm sorry, that's embroidery actually, that's really nice. Some ballistic here, motion panel in the elbow, more reflective, a little reflective logo here. Ballistic up on the shoulder. Once again, more embroidery. That looks so nice. Nice motion panel here in the shoulder. The jacket does move relatively well when I had it on. Volume adjusters in the bicep and also vents. This is a two-way zip. You're able to open these vents. And these are in a really effective position. You open these up, your hands are out on the bars. It drives the air in the coat, circulates it around, and allows it to come out the exhaust vents in the back 
please note that they are using waterproof zippers on this as well. Volume adjuster here at the bicep, down here at the forearm. Adjustment at the sleeve and cuff is going to be done with textile and Velcro. You can see that it kind of pleats nicely, just like that. Front of the jacket, intake vent up here. This is an intake vent and a storage pocket all at the same time. Kind of a Napoleon style pocket. You can see my hand is all the way in here, so that's a large pocket. You can use this, and it's way more effective when the coat is on and zipped up, but that'll pull that vent wide open to help encourage the air to enter the jacket. All of this gray screen printing you see, that is reflective material. Give you a good look here at the front. Waterproof zip here on the main. Open the first layer of zip. Nice zippers too, high quality. Nice zipper pulls. Second zip, so you have this gutter system to make this fully waterproof up front. I mean, you should be able to go through some pretty driving rain the way they've got this set up and remain dry up front. Waterproof storage here, left breast. Large pocket, open the jacket up. There is another storage pocket, once again waterproof, on the left breast. Throw the jacket open, you can see comfortable mesh liner, zip to pants attachment if you're gonna buy the Paragon pants to pair up with this and have a two-piece suit. Zips right to it. Pocket for the back protector. Nice comfort fabric here around the neck of the jacket, that's important. Large storage pocket here. Right side, little Velcro closure. You can see the eyelets down here at the base of the jacket. That's so that any moisture or you know heat, whatever, can kind of escape through these, these little eyelets down there. It just keeps the jacket from getting funky on the inside. When you have all those layers like that, you have to have some just ways for the air to move around inside. What do I think of it? I think that <clears throat> for the price we're selling it for on the site, this is an amazing value. If you're looking for this type of coat, a three-quarter length touring coat, adventure coat, however you want to label it, I think everybody might ride differently that might be looking at a jacket like this. Once again, another great buy home run from RST. This is the Paragon 5 textile jacket.